Hi everyone, welcome to MSCR Makes. I'm Miss Julia and today we're going to be doing fruit and vegetable stamping. For this project you will need some paint, a plate or another surface to put your paint on. You might want a paintbrush. You'll need some paper and some fruits or vegetables. Here are some that I have. I like to use scraps or bits that I've already used most of my fruit or vegetable from and use those parts to do stamps with. So this one is the bottom of a celery. I already took off the rest of the celery to eat. Here's an apple that I cut in half that I've already taken all of the rest of the apple off to eat. This one's a potato. And here's a lemon that I've squeezed all of the juice out of already. You'll probably want to have your grown-up get these for you and help you with the cutting of them. You can also save up your different fruit or vegetable scraps throughout a week so that you have several different things to do. You'll just want to keep them in the refrigerator so that they stay fresh. You can pause the video here and go gather your supplies. Now that you've had a chance to gather your supplies, I'm going to move some things out of the way. The first thing I'm going to do is put some of my paint onto my plate. You can choose whatever colors you think might look nice to do your fruits and vegetable stamping with. There we go. That should be good. The next thing that you can do is either take your fruit or vegetable, like this potato, I cut it into a triangle, and you can stamp it into your paint and then try stamping your fruit or vegetable shape onto your paper. And you can do your stamp multiple times and see how it looks different each time you stamp it. Or you can take some of your paint on your brush and brush the paint onto your fruit or vegetable and then stamp it. I like the pattern that's on the inside of the apple. If you look at it here, it kind of looks like a star. You can also try some of your other ones and you can even mix some of the colors. So put some paint using your paintbrush on one side and some in a different area. Or you can do all the same color, however you want to do your fruit and vegetable stamping. And for something that's a little bit bigger, you can press down a little bit harder. That one looks really cool. It kind of reminds me of a flower. And then I'll do this one too and see what that stamp looks like. I think I might have too much paint on this one. You want to make sure that you have enough paint to make a stamp, but not so much that it just globs all over. That one looks pretty cool too. Well, what different types of fruits or vegetables do you have in your kitchen that you might be able to use the leftover bits of to make some fruit and vegetable stamps? I hope you enjoy experimenting with all of the different ones that you find. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!